Jackal and Jen, they're about to start right now. Winner of this will be playing Syrup in Losers Finals. Winner of that will be seeing Zamba and Grands. Absolutely. But here, let's get this Lucha Semi started off right. Game one, Pokemon Stadium. And here we have probably one of the most classic of matchups that I'd say in Tri-State. Jen, Jackal. NJ, New York. Palutena, Wolf. Palutena, Wolf, true indeed. Yeah. I feel like th this is going to be definitely like a fight of a fight. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, both, both these guys, like, they're about to work. They're about to score. Yeah, they, not, they, they don't hate each other, but you know. No, but they they push each other to the to the brink many a times that they play, and they have to in terms of this bracket specifically, given the competition that's in front of them. True, and not even including the their own player their own player base and how they are adapting to each other already, just covering so many options with that initial with that crazy dash, even game thus far, but misses the grab instead of going for the up tilt. Yeah, but nonetheless, though, still a pretty much even game. Like, both of these guys are definitely at dangerous percentage. One big hit from either side can definitely, like, spell, like, the end of the first stock. And there it is. The dash attack on Jackal's shield. He's ready for the up smash out of shield punish to take that first stock. But like I said, man, you know, Jackal not looking healthy, man. Here he goes. Down throw. Ooh, looking for the double jump in. Doesn't get it. Man, avoiding all of these lasers. He's, he, he's not trying to get shot out here, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Jumping plenty over. Ah, man. Jen grew up in New York, man. He knows what he knows what goes on there, man. He's not afraid of no guns. Oh, scoop. Got to be afraid of that silver space wolf, though. Look at all of this damage that is stacking up. All oh, of this. Oh, no punish again. Man, it's, oh, man. When you have that much shield sun on a, on a dash attack, sometimes you expect the cross up. Doesn't come. I mean, missing those punishes, though, is that's a lot of damage left on the table. Not that that Jackal needs to extend this lead any further because he's in a pretty cozy space. Especially if he's able to take this stock right here. No, not quite. Wow, the aggressive option to come off in the ledge suit from Jackal. Smart stuff. Oh, wow, what a parry. What a parry. And the thing is, though, I feel like he had enough time to do a dash attack, but he opted for the grab instead. You know, it is what it is. Extra percentage. He's, he's pretty much at kill percent. Finally gets the first stock off Jackal. But like I said before, looking extremely unhealthy. And that trade with the Space Tim's back air going to work for Jackal. It, it keeps working. As long as Wolf back air is working, as long as you got a little bit of space on that shield, then, you know, it's it's looking mighty all right for Jackal if he's able to hold on to this lead. Jen, but Jen is one of those players that gets better as the set goes. And the longer that this set goes, the more he's going to be able to find little openings, poke little holes, and turn small victories into big ones. Get this Jackal with an extension off the platform, 80%, wow. and routine, routinely finding dash grabs is just so good for his it's so good for his own stage positioning and so good for his own tempo wow. as well. What a catch through by Gen 2. Opting to go for the forward air, but then realizing that he was air dodging through him, drops through through the platform and gets the back air punish. Smart stuff. Very aware. All over this place, trying to use as many of these jumps as possible, though that F2 eats a dash check. Nice. Wow, smart recovery though from, uh, from Gen there. Kind of get away from the, the back air. Jackal trying to hold his ground as much as possible. Keep Jen in the corner. Keep threatening dash attack. Keep threatening that. Oh, very oh, late. Yeah, yeah, no jump. Couldn't air dodge early because it would have killed him off the side. And, uh, a nice two slot though from Jackal off that first game. You know, he's looking pretty solid. Let's see if, uh, if Jen can, you know, has anything to respond with in the second game. So we'll see. Because right now, Jackal, he's poised. He's trying to make it all the way back to Zamba. Try to beat through Zero first, if anything. But, uh, you know, his first task is getting through Jen. We'll see what happens here. Game two. Game one, pretty solidly in Jackal's favor. He just had all the counterplay on deck, but we're not going back to PS2. We're instead heading right into town and city. So much advantage on this stage. Uh, a lot of, a lot of great stuff that Jen was able to show off in his previous set against Haven. See if that continues to roll into his favor against a fast forward like Wolf. A good dad. Oh, a couple nice. of pretty solid starters. That was super nice trying to wait okay. it out. Nice. Good recovery, though. I feel like Jen was anticipating something more lower recovery, like just drop it down, you know, up B. But the instant will flash to get onto the ledge, that was smart stuff for Jackal. Oh, he misses the up air afterwards. And get clipped by Nair. Just a ever so slightly things going in Jen's favor by a matter Ooh. of inches. Looking a little dangerous there. Okay, the back air. Still not enough, though, to see that stock. 
Trying to get past Jackal is a feat in and of itself, and so he does with that roll. Trying to chase. No, just kind of reset for the down tilt. Back air. <laughs> yep. Alright, back throw. <laughs> gonna have him off stage again. Ooh, gets through the auto aim, but eats in there for his troubles. No jump. Wow, that was smart to use the reflector to go through the uh, explosive flame. But the back air coming in for Jen. Gonna steal that first stock. He was on ledge there for like a solid like True. 15 to 20 seconds. Just Jen resetting and resetting yet over and over. Like holding down that ledge like it was like it was his home. All All right. Right. Another grab again for Jen. Unfortunately not able to get a punish there. Oh wow, what movement to make sure he caught that tech in with the grab. That was so clean from Jen. Another grab again and he's just getting all this extra percentage for himself here before he loses his first stock. Nice, another Nair out of shield. Okay, the back is there. He's chasing, oh my god, the balls on this man, Ooh. Jen, to go out there that deep and get the punish on the recovery. That was Damn. so clean, man. It's Wolf's quintessential weakness, right? While yeah. sometimes Wolf Flash and the big hitbox of Fire Wolf can be awkward or hard to challenge, and oh, oh, being able to just go out there with that speed, massive back air, that's a clutch one to find these edge guards as Jen holds onto this lead and keeps extending it too. Two frame after two frame, looking for the, Another sets grab. up for the grab, reads the spot dodge with Nair, and just lets it all flow. Like this is Jen. Oh wow. And I feel like he was anticipating a back air from Jackal though, but Jackal's smart enough not to give it to him, waiting out the counter and getting the four tilt to steal that first stock. But he has so much work to do. And the thing is, like, I'm not gonna count him out because we saw what happened when he played Adi earlier on. He had just a big of a deficit, was able to come back, but that back throw still not enough. Down tilt, find himself off stage, another one. Yeah, let's him get back, but this is just like it's getting harder and harder. The, that grab, all right, down oh. throw into dash attack. Like bread and <laughs> bread and butters are great and all, but in a deficit like this, you're gonna need. Stuff like this, stuff like some pristine juggles, some early stocks. Then, wow, what a way to wait out the air dodge and get the jab punish right at the edge, man. That was so smart yeah, from Jen. He was playing really clean that se that entire second game, and something that we're more used to seeing from him, from, right. from a player like Jen, you know. Beforehand, and like in winners, you know, he was definitely looking a little shaky, uh, but then you, we saw how he was in losers, uh, pretty much like when he played at the beginning, up until now that he's playing Jackal. So, we'll see what happens. Like, both these players, definitely two who play really well with momentum. Yes. So, yes right yes, now, yes. that momentum is clearly in the favor of Jen. Here we are, game three, running it back on Pokemon Stadium, though. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the stage counter picks are kind of evolve. Because this stage is not bad for either of them. But Jackal just may be, well, Jackal may be more comfortable on here. But can Jen answer the call and kind of halt that, halt that yep. comfortability, shake up what makes Jackal comfortable? on a stage like this. And I mean, right now with 0% to his name, Jack, Jen's doing a pretty good job up until that grab. Oh, oh wow, re-grab? Okay, damage. Ooh, shot. We got chain grabs out here, oh moly. Oh, scoop. Yeah, yeah, off stage. It. Oh wow, going for the down air. Unfortunately not getting the spike that he was looking for. Yeah, find a couple grabs, trying to set up for more. Trying to set up for an up air into back air, but missing the up air, at, uh, the up air starter. A very unfortunate for Jen, uh, for Jackal. You're, oh, you're holding carry? on if you're Jen, okay. and you're letting it all roll, you're letting it all ride. That's what I mean. Jen is a very, Ooh. very uh, Jen, uh, Jen's a player that gets better as the set be, uh, goes on. Every little bit of information he gathers is another way for him to exploit you in center stage on ledge or just wherever he may be. And this lead is proof of that. Oh, wow. Very nice. Was able to catch the neutral get up with a back air. What a punish from Jen. Timing is the key. Oh, oof. Back air trace still not enough, though. He's a laser for his troubles. Doesn't get the nair on the, on the recovery. Wow, a couple massive whiffs on this punish. Ooh. And trying for the dash attack that time instead gets up smashed. Man, Jackal keeps it close. Keeps it very close because he even takes the lead off of a quick 30. Nice, right, okay, Man. and again, Jackal still, you know, racking up the percentage for his favor. Ooh, Jen right now having trouble getting something started here. 
Oh, wow. wow. Anticipating the neutral getup. Jen, though, however, rolling in, not giving it to him. Jen has been doing a great job of trying to... Oh, avoid. my God. Ooh. He chased them all the way up there with the Tims. Jen's been doing great about avoiding tech chases by DIing up and trying to use his jump early. And Jackal is scouting that so hard now. Yeah. All right. Well, nice grab, though, from Jen. Let's see if he can get something started here. Nice recovery to the platform from Jackal. Yeah, Holden Snip trying to keep Sender at this point. The the start of this game, a vast, vast difference from where we are now. He's trying to hold down this ledge. Oh, man. Wow, trying to go for the drag down there, grab. Jack O'Hara ready for it, rolls away. Hi, right, down to it again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jack has back here. Jack has been taking a whole lot of these down tilts. Oh, but. Missing that down air as well, like you, Jen, kind of feeling the pressure a little bit, trying to go for a little bit uh, of a higher punish than just down tilt reset. Yeah, that back throw, that will back throw, do it, though, yeah. man, can't be sleeping on that. It's still gonna kill you at the percentage, especially on the ledge. But nonetheless, Jen finds himself at quite a deficit here. Let's see if he can bring this back. Nice, ortho grab into the backer, good damage. Oh, wow. but the tower smash is that gonna be enough? No, reading the neutral tech. An important read, it sets up for this ledge situation. Is he gonna go for an up air? No, he's just waiting in block. Trying to see what he's got. Jen being so careful with his landings, and there nice. it comes. That patience though from Jen, to kinda just like wait out the recovery, not do anything a little too hasty. Right now he's slowly bringing this back right now. Uh oh, uh oh. This could be dangerous. Wow, what a grab. Trying his best. Oh, rolling Another on, but it's scouted. Game. Jen out here trying to take the stock. Oh, the ledge trump. The ledge trump doesn't get the back air, though. And the up tilt from under the platform. Oh, man, that was the game. He just missed the back air after the ledge oh, trump. Oh, oh, ledge man. trump DI uh, showing a jackal. Like, he, was in, he was in the position for this back air, but the air dodge. Wow. I mean, Sour Nair setting up for a tech chase on a platform, setting up for a tech situation on a platform that Jen was not ready for. Yeah. But nevertheless, man, game four, let's see if Jen can, you know, point, bring this back to game five. Man. Very true. Let's Very see. true. Lose the semis. The bracket run is on the line. Two New York players, two New Jersey players left in bracket. Yeah. One of hey. them going to eliminate the other. Here it comes. All this damage, all these frame traps as well. A solid 66 on Jen's part, and it's not stopping. Oh, no jump. It wow. Oh. The down smash with the wind box at the end, able to push him away so he can't re-grab the ledge. That was so smart from Jen. Yeah. I mean, either the wind box does it, or the charge on the down smash would have either would have as well. Oh, wow. Anticipating the end, the neutral get up. Jen, however, waiting it out, going for the roll and getting the punish. Big damage for Jen. Yeah. Everything will go on. So showing up, Jen, at the start of this game. We're back on PS2, by the way. Makes me think that Town and City may have been banned. But Jen showing no sign of stopping at the moment. Like He looks like he was riding off of the momentum he gained from the end of game three. Uh, even though he lost that game, he still had a lot of good stuff rolling and is able to capitalize on that in this game. Just setting up quickest of frame traps and the quickest of options, uh, option coverage all at once. Oh man, the back throw, is that gonna steal it? Uh, oh no, get the eye of Jen, gonna keep him alive here. The good recovery to the aggressive option off the ledge. That dash attack still not enough. Living at 160 though, man, that's crazy. There's another dash attack though to steal that stock. Jack O'Hever not looking the healthiest here. He's, he's holding on to his best, but as long as he plays wow. center right, then he can start escaping from a lot of power. Tannis more consistent kill options. Oh, aggressive himself that time off Legend. Finding a grab for his troubles. 30. Now, man, the ways are doing 10. Almost 10 is so really crazy Ooh. for Jackal. Keeping this damage going. Couple fares. 
All right. Now right now, Jackal slowly bringing this back to him. Yeah. But, oh, he took grab for his trouble. Back throw still not enough. Oh, Whoa. wow. There's what no he way he went down <laughs> there on purpose to footstool him. But I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt because he double jumped back and there was no button press. So it's not like he went out there to hit him with there or four there. He literally just went down there to footstool him. Yep. That and was OD. And a footstool he got, though. Jackal is kind of making a stormy comeback in and of himself. Ooh, like that. The timps. Just that back air. The just spaced. Oh, my God. For perfectly spaced. For and we, pretty much, we, got a, we got an even game here, man. We got more than an even game. We got Jackal trying to assert himself, assert his dominance. But Jen answering Ooh. the call. God, it's all about coverage. It's all about coverage with both... Uh, with more buttons afterward. Like both of them nice. scrapping so hard, trying to outdo the other. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that was such an awkward angle, but he did touch the ground. Nice. Now the is being an air dodge. Oh, man, he still almost got that down smash regardless. Uh, but the win box messed up the confirm that J uh, Jackal could have gotten afterwards. Oh, the double jump catch from Jen was insane. Oh, my God, we got a game five scenario. Jackal signaling to just run it back. We're going back to Pokemon Stadium, man. That was OD from Jen. So, so huge. And the fact that Jackal had his opening, but the win box uh, messing with his fastball gave Jen another chance to hold down neutral, and he wasn't going to let that, uh, that stock slip away from him. Yeah, man. All right, but here we go. Game five, loser semis. Yeah, both of all these right. two scrapping after all of this. Couple dash oh attacks. Oh my god, damage. Okay. Scoop. Quick. Okay. Oh, no jump. Oh man. Very, very nice high recovery, though. That's not something, that's not a trigger that Jackal pulls very frequently. Uh, that, was, that was really smart. Noticing that he didn't have his double jump, instantly pressed that side B to get back onto the stage. Oh, early on the trump, but man, I have been loving these ideas from Jen. Because, I mean, Palutena can have a little bit of trouble sealing out stocks if you know the proper counterplay. But Jen trying to reinvent the wheel, or, or, or write a new book, rather. Oh, no, again, the explosive flame not what going close as he wanted to. Oh, wow. God, Jen is just so close to so many early stocks. These smash attack reads have just a, a lot of great coverage. But Jackal hangs in there. And Ooh. hangs tough. Just trying to make space. These dashbacks are all trying to make space until he gets that grab, until he gets that opener. Oh. Wow, rolls through. It's a dash text for his troubles, but still living here. It's another one. Oh, and that's going to be it, though. Not going to be able to recover. Wow, that gunshot so smart from Jackal. Going to take that first stock here in this game five situation. Lose your semi. Yeah, such a checkmate situation. Either you air dodge that and get put in a terrible spot, or you take it and perish also. Really, really good stuff from Jackal, and really good stuff to keep himself holding down to cover as much as he can. 141, fighting off a of ledge. He does with oh. the getup attack, but no punish. Uh, he's a good wait, though, for Jackal. He's a backer for his trouble. Still not enough to kill, though. Oh, the explosive flame lingering just long enough to catch him out of the air dodge. And... Stocks are even, percentage slightly in the favor of Jackal, but one combo can bring this back to even. And one combo can make it start to slip away for, for into Jackal's favor. These cross-ups are so huge, but Jen always has the energy, always has something in the tank to put it into his domain. Wow. Okay. I see aggressive option though from Jackal. Not gonna fall for the explosive flame twice. So yeah, has a bit of a lead here. Yeah, spacing out falling forward airs as much as possible. Oh, the wow, the drag down. No grab, but catches the neutral tech with the down smash. And Jen on his tournament stock here. And almost trying to make Jackal on his own with those up airs, but not killing so early. Missing the grab afterwards. Jen is still holding on, going for a dash grab, but both miss their punishes, miss their proper grabs. 77 and until Jen finds the neutral air. Okay, another down tilt sends him at an awkward angle. Able to still recover. Down throw. What's the follow up? Goes for the back. A good air dodge from Jackal. Well, oh, the aggressive option again. Okay. Oh, just running into stuff now, man. Yeah, Jackal. Trying to net as much extra percent as he can. 
but getting this big damage combo here. Yeah, that, these juggles are going to be so crucial, especially since Jackal has not fallen prey to a back air Ooh, very, very long. 70 and 130. But that's you, that's exactly what Jen wants. Jen wants to space out with back air as much as he can. Nice. Fourth Both throw. Fourth throw. I throw him off stage. Wow, the patience from Jackal oh, on the ledge. Tims, that's going to do it. Wow. Jackal moves on to losers finals. Ooh. On a game five situation, uh -huh. Jen goes home with fourth place. Uh, yeah. What a good showing, though, man. Good showing. Absolutely. From Jen. Jen hold it. I mean, he held his own the entirety of that set, but True. it pulled out some of how strong counterplay is against Palutena in so many like, key instances. Without the uh, with proper DI down tilt back air can be very hard to connect. Yeah. With proper DI down throw uh, down throw back air stops working at kill percents and just it was left for Jen trying to get more and more creative. And the longer the set went, the better he played in neutral. But the more that Jackal started to figure out, this is how I survive longer yeah. and longer. It was just yeah. rough to play. Nonetheless, though, man, Jen act, he played well. Absolutely. Act. Played absolutely phenomenal mm, against uh, against Haven earlier in losers. Was playing well against Jackal, but you know Jackal was able to clutch it out. He will move on yep. to play Syrup, get his run back. Ooh. 